your everyday breath is your performance breath, and your performance breath is your everyday breath. So if you go about your everyday life breathing through your mouth, when it comes time to perform or compete, then chances are you'll breathe through your mouth. And while that's not a terrible thing, there are times when you'll have to breathe through your mouth, you wanna try and breathe through your nose as much as possible because simply it's more efficient. But when you breathe through your nose, your oxygen uptake increases by 10 to 20%. So you get more oxygen going through your body. When you breathe through your nose, nitric oxide is released from your paranasal sinuses. Nitric oxide is a vaso and a bronchial dilator. So it opens up your blood vessels, improves blood flow, and it opens up your airways. Also recruits your diaphragm better, so you're more able to perform diaphragmatic breathing, that is that deep belly breathing. It reduced feelings of thirst, because when you breathe through your mouth, you're sucking air in through your mouth, and it's drying out your mouth. So nasal breathing, you feel less thirsty. Try and nasal breathe during your everyday life as much as possible. Introduce it into your warm-ups when you're training. As you get up to higher intensities, you do have to switch to mouth most of the time, um, but can execute uh, intensities up to about 85 to 90% of your VO2 max with nasal breathing. So give it a shot, let us know how you go.